blink and you'll miss this breakthrough creation. Two engineering professors at Northwestern University have created the world's tiniest remote-controlled robot. Just half a millimeter wide, the crab-looking creation could be used to access extremely difficult spaces like the human body. Professor John Rogers led the research to create the robot, and he is joining us now live tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, hey, this is so me. amazing. Talk about the applications <laughs> or the potential applications for this little robot? Yeah, the vision is, uh, you know, one in kind of the medical space, thinking about minimally invasive surgeries going beyond what's possible today, having these small robots move through arteries and veins, maybe disrupting plaques that are causing clogging, you know, for example, or using them to perform biopsies or to remove malignant tissues associated with the tumor. Uh, this is the vision, and we think we have a, a, a couple of nice steps in, in that direction. It's, it's really amazing when you think about the potential of it. Was there a medical problem in particular that sparked your journey to, to actually invent this? Was there some specific uh, thing you were thinking of solving? Well, we have deep engagements with the medical community here in Chicago, and we have a number of different projects that are addressing specific clinical needs. I think this effort is a little bit more open-ended, uh, a little bit more discovery-oriented, uh, I would say, uh, trying to build capacities for creating very tiny robots. We now know how to build them. We know how to you know, actuate them. We kind of have artificial muscles, and I think it's a, it's a first step in this direction of, um, you know, like I said, kind of minimally invasive surgeries that might be possible in the future. How, how soon do you think we can expect this out in the real world? Because this sounds like a total game changer. Well, we, we hope so. You know, I, I caution that it's still early days, and, and I think we've made some real progress here. There's a broader community of researchers working on micro ro robots, thinking about medical applications. And I think what we've done is we've contributed to the base of capabilities that people will draw on up over time uh, to, to hopefully realize this vision. We can move the robots around, but they don't execute tasks at this point. So we have little pincers, but we don't have remote control over those claws, for example. So we can make them move, but now we need to make them do something. So, so it, it'll be a development process, but we're pretty excited about it. You're almost there. <laughs> um, in, <laughs> in your mind, what will navigating the medical world look like in the next maybe couple of decades? You know, if this technology actually becomes the norm, for example, for a cancer patient. Yeah, well, I mean, I think you've seen uh, quite a transformation in uh, medical surgeries over the last 10, 20, 30 years, a move toward sort of minimally invasive uh, approaches based on catheters, so basically wires that move up through arteries and, and, ve and veins or perform different uh, tasks, and that's represented a real revolution in, in patient care, and we think sort of remote-controlled robots would be the na next natural evolution, you know, in that process of uh, allowing procedures to be performed with, with minimal uh, invasiveness. Wow. And I know you also invented a flying microchip, right? Tell me a little bit about <laughs> that. Yeah, that, that was uh, published a few months ago, but, but our idea there was to add winged flight to very tiny uh, integrated circuits and digital sensors for purposes of uh, environmental monitoring. So dropping these things out of a drone, for example, allowing them to fly through uh, sort of natural wind currents and then you know do some kind of environmental monitoring dur during that process. So I think there's an opportunity to bring these kinds of uh, remote controlled robots together with those uh, devices that are designed for winged flight. I told the students it'd be great if we could make these crabs fly away. And so, you know, that's kind of a Star Trek type, type concept, but but it's a fun thing to work uh, work on from an academic standpoint. Well, it's like a sci-fi movie, and you think about things like the iPhone, how much that changed the world, you know, and, and doing things that you never mm -hmm. thought could be possible, like seeing people on a screen. Maybe this will be, you know, one of those things that will change the world, so we'll keep watching it, and we appreciate your time yeah. tonight. Thanks so much. Yeah, we, we hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.